Hey yo! So I'm gonna make this video a little bit earlier than I thought I was going to. I was gonna originally wait until Friday, which today is Sunday, so about like almost a week. I was gonna wait for some replica web shooters to come. I decided, you know what? I'm too impatient for that, man. I'm just gonna go right into this. You're gonna see them anyway. I'm gonna be doing a video where I go to Spider-Man No Way Home on the opening weekend. And I'm going to be dressed as Spider-Man going in. Uh, hoping to get some reactions, get some kids run up, get some pictures. Uh, disappoint them immensely like I do my own parents. And hopefully not get kicked out by staff like uh, a lot of other people do with <laughs> TCU. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd make this video showcasing the suit. Um, and also, uh, yeah. Alright, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna go right into the suit. Um, so yeah, I'll be one second, guys. Don't don't go anywhere. I'll I'll be right back. Uh, it, and if you find my NFTs, do not steal them. I swear, I will sue you. Please do not steal my NFTs. They're ten grand a pop. Just buy them from me. Email me, please. You okay? Um, one second. <sighs> Hey everyone, uh, this is the suit. Um, I got it off of Etsy. Um, I want to take an Etsy gamble. I never got a cosplay off of Etsy before. And I was originally going to make this myself, but I compared prices of what I wanted to get to make this and everything. And it costed about the same. Uh, I got this for like $153. Uh, free shipping, by the way, which was awesome. Uh, the seller was called uh, Easy Hand Art, I believe. Uh, I'll, I'll put the listing like right there. Uh, I just want to make sure I had a suit to go to No Way Home uh, opening weekend for. I'm going uh, the opening Saturday, so that's going to be interesting. But yeah, I always liked this suit. I thought it had a lot of charm to it. And I may be more of a Raimi fanboy, but I also really like uh, John Watts is doing everything. So that's pretty cool. You know? And also, this is the third film in the trilogy, basically celebrating the end of the Homecoming series. And uh, why not just end it by wearing the suit that he wore in... Uh, he technically wore it in Civil War, but that was in, like, footage and test screenings, but eh. And he wore this at the end of Homecoming. So why not just go with the suit that technically started it all? And it'll probably be the main suit that he uses in... Uh, Spider-Man freshman year that uh, animated Disney Plus show that's gonna be coming which I'm also excited for us Spider-Man fans are eating pretty good like we got this movie coming we got freshman year coming we got uh, we got Spider-Man 2 PS5 coming even though I don't have a PS5 I'll probably just watch uh, gameplay and uh, story cutscenes and stuff like that we also got a fan film Spider-Man Lotus coming out it it's just a party all around, man. Enough stalling, let's just talk about the suit for a minute. This is a suit, this is how I got it, except for like a few modifications, well, which I'll get to in a bit. Here's the mask that I got, it's pretty nice. It's got a little unibrow here, but I don't care. I think it looks fine, I don't, I don't care. It's understandable why there's a unibrow there. Um, this is a sweatshirt. It's actually not all ripped up and stuff because it was actually like custom sewn, I believe. So it's really nice, it's really comfy, it's really nice fabric, it's nice and soft. And this uh, printed spider here is really accurate to the one in the film. So I've, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's also got a custom made undershirt, which is all blue. It's just a blue long sleeve. Let me just get my leg just... <sighs> As you saw there, that was the socks. Uh, they're red, they're, they're also custom made, very nice. I uh, got custom made blue joggers here. Also, very nice, very... Like, this whole thing's really comfy. Just saying, like... These homemade suits, like the homemade suit from Homecoming, uh... The Human Spider from, uh, Spider-Man 1. Maybe the... The Vigilante suit from Tasm 1. Like, they're all pretty comfy, so... They're probably the most comfiest Spider-Man suits you'll ever wear, pretty much. I mean, I, w I wouldn't know. This is my first Spider-Man cosplay suit I got. Uh, spoilers, I got Far From Home suit coming from a Zentai Zone, aka Print Costumes now, because they split off that branding, but it's, it's the same thing. So, whenever that comes, uh, I'll do a review on that too. I'm pretty excited for that, but we're in the now, okay? Uh, if I just put my leg up again, uh, just... Uh, if I just turn around like that... Uh, you see that shoe there, um, that did not come with the suit. 
suit didn't actually come with shoes which whatever um, so it gave me opportunity just to go a little custom there as well because I actually got a pair of running shoes off of Amazon for like 30 bucks uh, they're red and black with uh, black soles uh, they're pretty much the same color scheme as the movie except the ones in the movie look like leather slip-ons so they don't make much sense to me in my head because you think like a teenager who's making their own superhero suit is thinking about their budget of course and of course I bet they would have been cheap to get at like a Goodwill or something probably but you'd also be thinking about how comfy it would be uh, how flexible it would be how breathable it would be and just how functional it would be and I feel like these running shoes here are a bit more functional because one they're breathable you can just slip them right on pretty easily they're very flexible and they're pretty comfortable to wear and honestly I think these would work better in my opinion than the shoes in the actual movie so yeah I took some liberties there I may be kind of a purist but at the same time I'll, I'll, I'll change something if I think it makes more sense it also came with these web shooters and these gloves I did modify these gloves a little bit because I cut off the thumb a little bit because it was like up to here like at the tip so I cut that off I did a little bit of stitching to them because I want to cut them off that undid the stitching a bit so I just re redid it that was the first time I ever had to do that uh, so yeah it was the first time I ever had to stitch something which I which I, I did it yay uh, yeah but this but this stitching like right here you can see it was probably like not the best job I did with it like the other sides there, like right, like right there. Feel focus, like right there is not bad. <laughs> but that's, I think that's coming undone, but if that comes undone, I'll just stitch it again. It's not a problem. Yeah, the web shooters here, I did a little bit too. So originally there was like two web cartridges on the front here where uh, the trigger is. But I ripped one of them off mostly because... My OCD was going crazy because they weren't aligned perfectly. So I just ripped it off just to calm my OCD. I know in the movie there's like, there's two, there's actually is two cartridges in the front, but whatever. I'm getting uh, replicas anyway, which I'm waiting on. I'm not going to bother putting up listing or anything about that yet because again, I'm waiting on those still, which is again, I'm too impatient to wait to make this video until I get those, but you'll see them when I make the video, when I go to the movies, so whatever. <laughs> For now, th this is what I got. I also put some uh, craft foam in there that I got from Michaels. I just glued it in, so that way it would stay on my wrist because it was actually like flopping around and everything. So I did it to make it a little more tight, but also comfortable at the same time. I also put a little craft foam inside the trigger there, so that way it actually kind of hold its shape because before it was like flopping all over the place but now it's pretty stiff and what I actually did for that was that I took a paper clip I straightened it out and then I put it under the craft foam as I glued it in so that way like hold its shape and if I need to bend it a certain way I could so yeah that's how I modified these until again I get my replica and again you're not gonna get like the best web shooter replicas for if you're getting the whole suit for like $150 because the, a replica set of web shooters themselves will cost about that much so if you're looking for screen accuracy when it comes to those you're gonna be paying a good bit so it, it's it's nice that it even came with these that that's not a minus for me it's just a bonus the eyes on the mask here are the last thing I had to modify so originally when I got the suit it was like two pieces of fabric just white very like open fabric there's like large open holes on them there was like one glued on the inside of the lens here and then there was a second layer that was actually stitched onto the mask behind there. So what I ended up doing was I ended up cutting the stitching on the bottom one so that way the mask wasn't damaged. So that way I can just pull that out. And the second layer I just had to kind of cut around the eye hole so that, because it was glued in there so there was glue there. So I kind of had to cut it out. And then after that, I took some computer fan filters I got off Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link down below. I get commissions off of it if you click it. Um, you don't pay anything extra. I just want to disclose that. So yeah, I got some black fan uh, computer fan filters. I spray painted one side white 
so that way I could see out of it because if one side is black, which is the side facing my eye, uh, I can actually still see out of it because if both sides were white, then it would be reflecting the light like crazy and I wouldn't be able to see. But since I only did the one side, I can see perfectly fine. And also you cannot see my eyes, which was the big problem with the other ones. So I'm pretty happy with how these ended up with how I modified them. It was an easy thing to do. If an idiot like me could do it, you can too. It's pretty easy to do. But yeah, that's the end of the modifications for uh, the suit that I did so far. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything more because I think it looks really good as, it, as is now. Ever since I did the stuff that I wanted to. Because the gloves themselves look pretty accurate. It's got the crisscross uh, pattern on the back. So that's pretty good. Um, again, the whole thing is super comfortable. And I'm, it just feels like I'm wearing a bunch of lounge, lounge stuff. So yeah, I could just lounge around in this all day. And also feel like a badass at the same time. Also got nice hood like right here. So that way if you want to put your hood up and stuff. You can, and it, and it looks pretty cool. It's epic. Uh, that's pretty much it on the suit itself. Um, yeah, again, I can't wait to go to uh, No Way Home opening weekend in this. See what happens, you know. Um, again, I'm going to put the link down below if you're interested in getting this suit. And if you want to do any of the modifications that I did, they're pretty easy to do. Again, just go to your local Michaels for this stuff. I got these off of Amazon and you just go to your local hardware store to get some uh, white spray paint and that's pretty much all you have to do again if you're interested in looking for a homecoming uh, homemade suit um, I'll put the link down below to uh, easy hand art uh, pretty pretty cool guys or girls or whatever they'll be happy to answer any questions you have like all that kind of stuff it's really good for what you get if you're interested just go grab it I recommend getting it. If you can modify the eyes, I would highly recommend it. Again, it's a simple project. It takes like, it took me like two hours to do because I was doing other things. So in reality, it'll probably take you like 30 minutes to do. That's pretty much it for that. Um, I have my socials down below as well. You can follow me on Instagram where I post my cosplay pics and stuff like that. Follow me on Twitter where I say random and stupid shit. Um, Twitch, I never, I almost never stream, but I guess follow that anyway. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> I got more, another playlist, the more review videos that I do, uh, that I do sometimes whenever I get stuff, the milk content, <laughs> subscribe, you know how to subscribe, right? And if you want to dislike or like it, do it. Um, I would recommend though, because YouTube got rid of the dislikes, which I didn't think they would. Well, you can still dislike it, but you can't see it. Go to the Chrome store. If you're on Chrome, I'm not sure how to do it in other browsers, but there's probably ways. Um, just search up YouTube dislikes and there'll be like a ton of Chrome extensions that you can get to see dislikes again. I'm using one. It works really well. It's like it almost never happened. Like I can see the amount of dislikes and everything and the bar with the ratio and all that. So yeah, I would highly recommend downloading one of those Chrome extensions for the meantime. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully see you guys in the next video and watch some of my old videos. And yeah, um, until then, flip, 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 flip. I'm still trying to get the finger thing down, but don't, don't judge me.